Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. It was a matter of time before autonomous and semi-autonomous robots would play a more important role in the military. Recent developments have increased the rate at which this is happening. These types of systems are expected on the battlefield before the next decade. Big Dog, a pioneering quadruped robotics platform, was introduced by Boston Dynamics in 2005. Three generations followed, each with increased mobility and payload capacity. The robot could negotiate tough terrain, carry big items, and stay balanced. Spot, one of the most recent descendants, has advanced AI and commercial uses. Military robot dogs already serve various functions, including reconnaissance, surveillance, and subterranean investigation. Units like the Spirit 40 operate in swarms to gather intelligence, while larger models convey supplies. Their modular platforms offer a wide range of military applications, including perimeter security and hazardous environment operations. Ghost Robotics' Vision 60 has impressive self-balancing capabilities in ice conditions. Advanced control algorithms enable rapid adaption to slippery circumstances while retaining stability with dynamic leg movements. Even in tough conditions, the robot constantly adjusts its position to avoid falls. Military robot dogs can even effectively patrol swampy terrain, as proven at Tyndall Air Force Base. These self-contained units can negotiate muddy terrain for five-mile perimeter patrols. After recharging, they restart 24-hour security duties, providing continuous observation in tough wetland conditions. Their off-road capabilities are unmatched. Deep Robotics' Lynx has remarkable off-road capabilities, navigating steep slopes, rough terrain, and dense foliage. Advanced locomotion systems enable climbing, jumping, and crossing difficult terrain. The robot maintains stability while navigating difficult terrain that would stop conventional vehicles. Combat testing has also begun. The 10th Mountain Division and DEVCOM AC are testing robot dogs in combat scenarios at Fort Drum, with a focus on counter UAS capabilities. These experiments evaluate robot dogs' capabilities in combat support roles such as surveillance, threat detection, and autonomous patrol missions in difficult terrain. Applying weapons to robots is the next logical step. Onyx Industries created remote actuated weapons, RAW systems, for robotic dogs, including the RAW 12 shotgun platform. Air Force security crews demonstrated Vision 60 QUGV's robot docks at several locations, including Tyndall and Kingsley Field. These self-driving devices improve base defense by conducting perimeter patrols and threat identification before humans are exposed to danger.
The 325th Security Forces Squadron employs these robots to supplement human defenders, utilizing onboard computers and sensors for surveillance activities. Security forces train with robotic QUGVs in simulated expeditionary conditions. Teams work on merging autonomous patrol capabilities with standard reaction techniques. The robots utilize advanced sensors and ATAC systems to detect and track possible threats and share real-time data with human controllers. Defenders then assess the platform's efficacy in perimeter security and surveillance activities. These robots would have no meaning if they were easily defeated. Austin Dynamics' testing indicates robot dogs' capacity to function despite physical interference. During door opening exercises, the platforms automatically respond to interruptions while maintaining balance and performing tasks. Advanced software allows autonomous response to unanticipated barriers, maintaining mission continuity. The systems are remarkably resilient in maintaining program functionality in the face of external perturbations. Robots can even be used to carry gear and ammunition for troops. The Leg Squad Support System, LS3, originated as a novel solution for overworked troops that typically carry around 100 pounds of survival and protection equipment. This autonomous robotic pack mule was designed to navigate the same difficult terrain as dismounted soldiers demonstrating its ability to cross mountains, streams, and dense woodlands. The system's adaptability is proven by its several operating modes. It can follow a leader by detecting stripes on a soldier's backpack allowing the operator to concentrate on other tasks while the robot maintains formation. In tight conditions, operators can assume direct control with a joystick or a completely autonomous waypoint navigation system allows for independent travel to predetermined map points. The LS-3's primary mission capability is load reduction, and it carries important equipment, such as ammunition, mortar base plates, barrels, tripods, and numerous types of cargo. This load-bearing capability increases troop mobility and lowers injury rates during extended patrols. Perhaps more importantly, the technique shows promise in casualty evacuation, potentially decreasing the number of Marines necessary to carry wounded soldiers from six to one. Extensive testing at 29 Palms and Fort Devens proved the platform's all-terrain capability and ability to sustain squad operations. The program gained high-level backing from Marine Corps leadership, including Commandment General James Amos, who approved a 24-month plan to expand the system's sensors and Marine interface capabilities. This development period was focused on improving the LS-3's ability to observe its surroundings and interact more effectively with troops in the field, 
representing a significant advancement in military robotics support systems. Unfortunately, in the end, the Marines complained about how loud the system was, and this specific variant was discontinued. Technology such as a LiDAR also comes in handy. Robot dogs armed with LiDAR, light detection, and ranging technology play critical roles in aircraft crash investigation and recovery. These platforms can examine dangerous crash sites and create detailed 3D digital models without endangering human lives. The technologies used pulsed lasers and GPS to measure distances and map debris fields. When integrated with unmanned aerial systems, these robots can quickly examine potentially risky conditions and detect hazardous items or unexploded munitions. The system aids in determining repair requirements and material volumes required for recovery operations as well as building detailed digital twins of crash sites for in-depth investigation. Future wars may be fought by robot vehicles. The United States Army's Ground Vehicle System Center, GVSC, is developing robotic combat vehicles, RCVs, in three sizes, light, medium, and surrogate. These platforms provide a renewed approach to warfare, combining diesel engine electric hybrid drive systems with superior autonomy technologies to reduce soldier risk in combat settings. The RCVs work with the Mission Enabling Technology Demonstrator, MET-D vehicle, to enable manned, unmanned teaming capabilities. Testing these systems in a live military exercise was of cardinal importance. The Army's largest ground combat robotics exercise is a groundbreaking endeavor in military robotics integration. Unlike regular equipment upgrades, this testing adds whole new capabilities with a focus on human-robot collaboration in combat scenarios. The project serves as a watershed moment in military robotics, providing the groundwork for future combat operations. Soldiers, many of whom see parallels with gaming interfaces, are developing new tactics specific to robotic warfare. Key goals include acquiring extensive military feedback and operational data to guide future development. The tests assess both machine performance and human operator endurance, recognizing that robotic combat vehicles fundamentally alter battlefield dynamics. This experimental phase serves as a catalyst, reshaping the Army's vision for combat robotics. Without current playbooks for robotic warfare, the lessons acquired here will inform doctrine formulation and future combat robotics adoption, ushering in a new age in military operations. Robotics and artificial intelligence will and already play important roles in warfare. With everything from robotic dogs to robotic vehicles, the future battlefield promises to be much closer to Terminator movies.
exactly how these experiments will unfold is anyone's guess. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.